this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, follow this um, tutorial right here to basically create a script that generates an HTML file that tells you all about your system status. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is make sure that we have um, a LAMP server installed. So I'm going to type in sudo apt apt-get install lamp dash server use the carrot hit enter now I already have a server installed so nothing was installed but if you don't have a lamp server installed you're gonna have to go through this installation process once you have it installed you are right on the same page as me next thing that I'm gonna do is I need to browse to this user library sigbin so I'm gonna type in CD USR USR slash LIB slash CGI bin. Okay. Um, whoops. CD into the USR slash USR. CD into the LIB directory. CD into the SIGBIN directory. There we go. Now I already have a couple of scripts in here, but I'll make a new one just so you can see how this works. All right. So in this tutorial, it says we're going to want to use VI to generate and to write this first script. I'm actually going to use I'm actually going to use gedit to do this. So I'm going to type in sudo gedit and I'll call this one newest.cgi. All right? So I hit enter and it goes ahead and opens up this. Now, um, to save time I'm just going to go ahead and paste this in, but this is exactly what you want to write in. So this first line right here, this shows us that this is going, this tells the computer when anyone ever accesses and tries to run the script, that the script language is bash. Okay, next we have a bunch of echo commands, which basically just creates text, generates text. And the, the text that this script is generating is HTML code. So you can see we have HTML code all over here. I'll go ahead and actually type in here like Reichelt so you can see the title change in here. Also in here, you'll notice we have some things, dollar signs with parentheses around them. We have one right there, host name. We have one here, date. We have one here, um, here, right here. We have free. Anytime you see a dollar sign with parentheses around it, that is um, the script calling on a global variable. It's a variable that's already being used by Linux, okay? So like this, the date variable is a variable that's always in Linux. So in this script, when this variable is called, whatever Linux thinks the date is or whatever value is in that already loaded into that variable will be displayed. Same thing right here. So whenever this variable is called, whatever's loaded into that variable will automatically be displayed. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save to save my script right here. Um, I have a, so let's type in sudo ifconfig. If you notice in here, I have a 10.5 address, which means I'm on a bridge network adapter, which means that I can access it from my, um, my host machine or my computer over here. So I'll go ahead and do that over here. So it, it was 10.5.91.210. So when I get here, I just access the default Apache web page. It says Reichelt's the best. Yes, I know. But what I need to do is um, go into the SIGBIN directory um, and then access this newest.newest.cgi. Okay. What did I call this one? Let's see. LS. I called it newest.cgi. N-E-W-E-S-T. N-E-W-E-S-T. Okay. So as soon as I get here, I get this internal server error. The reason I get this is because I didn't properly set up the permissions for the script to be able to run. So what I need to do is I need to add in the read um, permission to this script. So in order to do that, I need to use chmod. So sudo chmod plus x which is the read so I need to do plus x and then the name of the script which was newist.cgi okay now that I've ga given read permissions to this anyone should be able to read this script when I refresh boom 
Notice the title of the page is now Reichelt, and if we view the source, all of this HTML code was generated by the script that we just wrote. So we can see the host names there, the time he is here. It doesn't just say the variable date, it's it pulled the information in from that variable, and now it's displaying that right there. All right, so you have just created your first dynamic web page. Congre